We are at ESC 16, we are in Rome, and one year ago our CardioSource World News cover story featuring highlights from the London ESC meeting was great expectations from telomeres to Ticos, causes for celebration and despair. Part of the celebration actually was the Ticos part of the story, and the trial that was entitled Evaluating Cardiovascular Outcomes with Citagliptin was one of the highlights of that year's meeting. And for this cover story update, I'm really going to be standing here with Dr. Sam Engel, who is an Associate Vice President of Merck Clinical Research, Diabetes and Endocrinology. I remember that meeting for a very good reason, because the online program afterwards, the highlights, they were a panel of experts and they were expressing great relief because there had been con some concern regarding heart failure. And Tico's kind of took care of that. And there was a lot of talk around the, around the panel saying, this is really good news. So can you, before we go to this year's meeting, can we go visit last year's meeting and talk about that? Sure. So, you know, TCOS was the third cardiovascular outcome study for DPP-4 inhibitors uh, for which the results were available. And, you know, with the first two, there was uh, an indication that there might be an increase in the risk of hospitalization for heart failure. And it was significant concern that this might be a class effect. And so, you know, TCOS, which was the longest duration, really had the longest patient exposure, was being looked to to be the arbitrator, if you will. So we were very pleased when we saw that there was absolutely no increase in heart failure or in any composite endpoints that included heart failure. So those data were initially presented uh, at the ADA meeting in 2015, but we did much more in-depth analyses, and those were brought here to ESC. So we were very pleased as well. Now, subsequent to that, there has now been some other presentations. We'll get to the, this meeting here in a moment. Sure. But what else is new? Okay. Well, I mean, there's a large data set that we have available to us uh, from TCOS. And so over the course of the past year and a number of different scientific congresses, as well as in publications, we've looked at uh, issues related to pancreatitis and pancreatic cancer, you know, which also is an issue related to the class, a potential issue. We've described uh, hypoglycemia in the context of the TCOS study. Um, so we've had a lot of energy devoted to uh, mining, if you will, this data set. In June at ADA, uh, we presented information related to patients with chronic kidney disease uh, and citagliptin use. And uh, currently, well, we can talk about what we're presenting here, but uh, we're really excited because there's a lot more data that we have within the TCOS data set. So now we're up to ESC 2016. Mm -hmm. Now what's new? Well, so this is a very interesting uh, paper that was presented by you know, one of the members of the executive committee, uh, Eberhard Standel. Uh, it specifically focused on hypoglycemia and its relationship to cardiovascular events. Now, we're talking severe hypoglycemic events. That's right, severe hypoglycemia, because that's what we measured in TCOS. We collected severe events you know, from patients, uh, from the investigators. And, you know, there's always been a uh, belief that severe hypoglycemia m was related to the occurrence of uh, major cardiovascular events, and a number of large uh, CV studies in diabetes have demonstrated this association. What was novel in the presentation, uh, based on the TCOS data, was the finding that it wasn't just severe hypoglycemia that predicted cardiovascular events, but cardiovascular events, in fact, could predict severe hypoglycemia. In other words, you know, we describe that the uh, syndrome, if you will, of severe hypoglycemia may actually occur in the same patients who were predisposed to major cardiovascular events. And that's why we see these associations both forwards and backwards. Are you really optimistic about what's going on? I mean, you've got some more studies that you're going to be producing. I mean, what questions now do you have left okay. that you still want to answer? Well, I think, you know, some of our focus this year has really been on looking at subgroups within the TCOS population. Uh, you know, we have a large population of patients with chronic kidney disease, over 20% of the population. And that represents about 20 to 25% of people with type 2 diabetes. Uh, we have a large population of patients who are taking insulin. And those patients also may be different. They have a longer duration of disease, their kidney function is more uh, dysfunctional. And so we're specifically drilling down on those subsets to understand more about the cardiovascular profile as well as the safety profile of citagliptin. Well, thank you very much, because I do recall that, that cover story from last year, and so the, the fact that I could get a chance to talk to you this meeting right. made me very happy. And this was the October 2015 issue of CardioSource World News, 
And again, it was uh, on great expectations from Televeres to Ticos. Look for that, as well as in October 2016, the coverage from this meeting. I'm Executive Editor Rick McGuire.